so today I realized I made a mistake with a client and I wanted to get on video and explain exactly what, what mistake I made and what I learned from it, what I'm gonna do moving forward. And uh, since I never claim to be perfect, one of the luxuries is I can actually openly talk about my mistakes in hopes that it helps other people and you get an insight as to exactly how I think, how I work, et cetera, et cetera, right? So essentially I made two mistakes. Number one, I didn't properly prep a client uh, for the emotions they were gonna feel. Number two, I made the mistake of making the decision for the client instead of letting the client make the decision on their own, even though the, the approach we took, the decision we made was 100% the right approach and the best approach, I should have allowed the client to make the decision themselves, right? So let me give you a little background. We're in a multiple offer situation, which we won because like I said, it was the right approach. And we took the only approach where you can actually get away with not overpaying for the house and you still get the house, which is ultimately the number one goal, right? And we did win, we got the deal and we didn't overpay. We paid asking price, right? But essentially, we are, not essentially, but initially, we offered $10,000 less, right? And here's where my mistake comes in. We offer $10,000 less, we find out as multiple offers, so now we have to offer uh, highest and best, right? And I've been through this like a thousand times, and I sometimes forget that other people don't do this every day, right? So, and that was, I guess, mistake number three, is I gotta remember that whereas I do 10, 15 deals a year, the average Joe does one every five, six, seven years, right? So things change and processes are different, this, that, and the other, right? So let's go with mistake number one. I didn't properly prep my client for the emotions they were gonna have after they won or lost, right? And here's what I mean, with multiple offers, here's what, you have two emotions. You're either gonna win um, or lose. I shouldn't say emotion, you're gonna have two things happen. You're either gonna win or you're gonna lose. If you win, you're gonna start thinking this. Damn, maybe I overpaid, maybe I jumped the gun. Oh man, do I really want this house, this, that, and the other, right? And if you lose, you're gonna be upset. You're like, damn, I was probably $2,000 away from buying the home I really, really, really wanted, right? Because the only reason you even deal with multiple offers is if you really, really love the home and you wanna buy it. Simple as that, right? So I should have, number one, prepped my client for those emotions. Be like, listen, if you win, this is how you're gonna feel. If you lose, this is how you're gonna feel, right? Just so you know what you're expecting. And number two, here's the bigger mistake I feel I made. I, the client said, Aram, I want this house, do whatever it takes to get this house, right? Now in my head, that means do whatever it takes to get this house, but yet I'm still always thinking, never, never overpay. No matter how much you want the house, my job is to be emotionally detached to make sure you make a right business decision, right? So offering asking price is the best approach to get the property without overpaying for it, this, that, and the other, right? Which is the approach we took, this is what I recommend, and the client's like, all right, let's do it, right? But the mistake came in is, I didn't allow him to come to that decision on his own, right? I didn't explain the why. The way I should have really worked it is, listen, the reason we need to offer this is because this, this, and that will happen. If you don't offer this, 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 and that could happen. These are the risks, right? Uh, blah, and these are blah, 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 blah. Moving forward, I could properly explain. Instead, he just said, what's the best approach? I said, here's the best approach. And he said, okay, let's go for it, right? Which at the moment was great, but come this morning, uh, <laughs> the, those feelings start coming up. Okay, damn, did I overpay? Did my realtor do this? Why don't we uh, fight back a little bit more, right? So I was on the phone with my client. He's like, you know, I'm a little disappointed as to why we didn't try to negotiate a little bit more, right? And this is an obvious answer. I can uh, I could have answered it right away, but I, we never actually discussed it. Or at least I never allowed him to fully understand what decision he was making before he made that decision. Now regardless if it was the right decision or not, I should have allowed the client to make it because if it was the right decision, right, and he made it, he would have been very happy, right? But if he, uh, but he took the wrong approach, he would have learned from it, so in the future, this would have never happened to him again, right? Whereas I just made the decision for him, almost like a parent, right? Imagine if you, let's say your kid is about to go outside and play, and you know it's cold as hell outside, and you, need, and you know if they don't put on that jacket, they're gonna get cold. So instead of explaining to them why they need to put on the damn jacket, you just force them to put the jacket on. So when they get outside, they're confused. They're like, what? what was she talking about, right? I'm wasting my time putting on a jacket, this, that, and the other. And that confusion leads to people asking questions, having doubt, being frustrated, all that, and the, uh, all that and the other. So ultimately, the lesson of the day, a couple of them is always prep the client regardless of they're gonna win or lose. And number two, allow them to come to the decision on their own, whether it's the right decision or not. I gotta keep in mind the best I can do is deliver the facts and all the information and recommend things, right? But never allow myself to make the decision for the client, even though I know it's the right one. <laughs> Lesson learned, moving forward.